The goal of the California Surf Museum is to preserve, protect, and enhance surfing in all its forms. The people who founded it were intent on trying to protect something that at the time, back in the 80s, we were losing right and left, all the beautiful surfboards, all the incredible art, and many of the early surfers who were passing away without us getting their stories down. So the whole impetus for starting the California Surf Museum was to gather that and collect it and then keep it for posterity so that generations would know about what really went on with surfing in the early years. The California Surf Museum was born in 1986 when a Cardiff surfer thought it would be a good idea to start capturing surf history. I asked him, how many surf museums are there? And he said there were none. And here we are decades later. The California Surf Museum went from being in a restaurant to a shack on the beach to Pacific Coast Highway to what now is an accredited museum with the American Museum Association. We feel very, very privileged to be here. Oceanside has really embraced us and we feel that we want to do everything we can for the community as well. Oceanside is one of the most culturally diverse surf communities on the planet. The people that come here come from all the way from LA, Baja, everywhere in between because Oceanside has the most consistent surf. These guys were here and understood where the future was lying and how proud we are of our surf culture and heritage. They know the power of surfing and its history and that's amazing. The culture of Southern California and the culture of surfing have been intertwined. People are really discovering now that while they thought that it was just a sport for Mavericks, that in fact it was inventing the leisure lifestyle that people love to be a part of all over the world. This surf museum is one of the most popular destinations in the city of Oceanside. It's an immersive experience. I even feel like I'm in the ocean right now with just the way that the exhibits are designed. And there's a science, an art angle, a human interest angle. The passion that everyone has here for surfing comes through loud and clear. One of the things that I like most about the California Surf Museum is just how friendly and open and helpful people are there. They're really knowledgeable about what goes on with surfing from right now now today to as far back as surfing goes. It's always our mission to spread the knowledge about the Surf Museum also to locals who have never visited us so they can see what a wonderful museum we have. This is our only surf museum and it's our favorite surf museum. The Museum Council is a collection of 60 museums around San Diego County. So we do programs like Kids Free in October. In February, we do Museum Month. You see people here of all ages. It's a really cool and fun place to visit. The California Surf Museum has a number of exhibits. We have our permanent exhibit, which is a timeline of surfing. We've had hands-on exhibits that are for kids. Bethany Hamilton's surfboard. It's one of the rarest things that you can find and one of the most popular at the museum. But we also have rotating exhibits, everything from really well-known, beloved people to surfing during the Vietnam War. So there's always a range of different exhibits that you can experience. I'm on the board of directors. I also second as the head coach of the Torrey Pines High School surf team. We enjoy the California Surfing Museum as not only an educational tool, but also a history lesson. And it's so important that we continue to pass on the history of surfing to the youth, or else we're going to lose it. We are a nonprofit organization, and we rely on people's donations. We rely on our members, and we can come in and buy things in our museum store, and we're dependent upon people's curiosity and enthusiasm about the sport of surfing. We have lots of interesting events here at the California Surf Museum. One of our favorites right now happens to be something we call Big Wednesday, which is a get together with a famous surfing figure and sharing stories. People will find such a wealth, even when they know nothing about surfing. But what's also really neat is to see the people who know everything about surfing find stuff that they never knew before. A lot of great people with a lot of great talents that came together to make this place happen. My husband and I put a lot into surfing for our whole lives, so we wanted to give back, and that's what the Surf Museum is all about. Our board of directors puts together events throughout the whole year. So we might have movie nights, we'll have book signings, all kinds of great stuff. Our biggest fundraiser is the gala, and that's the way that you can come and experience silver surfers like you've never seen before. Surfing is a participatory sport. You can paddle out at Lower Trestles or at Pipeline or at Jeffreys Bay 
and surf right alongside with the greatest surfers that have ever lived. Without that, all of the participants would not have this kind of rich heritage that makes them feel like they're part of something larger than themselves. I grew up in Pacific Beach down in San Diego and we knew everybody in the water at the time and now to see the evolution and to see it captured here in the museum is really rewarding to, to know that you're part of the infancy. I think it's the challenge, it's the fascination. It's the same way for people all over the world. We've never ventured from our mission statement, which is to collect stories, present them in an engaging way, and provide a little stoke for our visitors that they leave with a smile on their face. We're just beginning to see the kind of interest that you would hope to have with a museum like this. We have people visit from all 50 states and from 41 countries. We've got a ways to go, but I think by the time we hit 50, we will have established something that will be a cultural touchstone for California and for the world.